morning, Saturday, 2nd of May. Of May. I uh, went out on Thursday and got another couple of bags of compost. And uh, as you can see, I've already flattened one and a half. I did two tubs of this size. Um, and then this one I have put in uh, the extra two Brussels sprouts that I had saved throwing them away. I did, a, as I say, another tub this size, which I'll go and show you. Okay, it is this one, and I'm going to use this one for uh, for my leeks, so uh, I can get you to them next week planted into there out at way I have sown some uh, seeds as well fennel and some more mixed coloured beetroot 12 cells multi sown so that uh, we shall have plenty there'll be enough there to last us rest of the year I would think okay This Shirley tomato that's not showing any signs of uh, putting the truss out, I can remember now why it is. And if you can see in there where that strap is, here, yeah, I actually broke that. And I think that's what's caused it, it's put it into shock. So I'm going to take the top off and put it in some uh, a glass of water and uh, see if the rest of the plant will kick any side shoots out see how we go okay so you can see the uh, split that's uh, I think caused the problem so I'm going to cut it off below that And I'll take uh, the shoot up, as you can see, didn't uh, repair very well. So we'll cut these off. I'm going to uh, put it in a glass of water, put it back in the greenhouse and see if anything happens with it. go back in the greenhouse. So I will leave this as it is and see whether or not uh, whether or not it sends any side shoots out that we can use. Okay back in a minute. Okay here you can see my uh, salad and lettuce that are ready for potting on, so we'll uh, we'll get on with that. I only want uh, about six plants out of here, so as long as I get six good ones, we should be okay. I didn't think that's on as much as uh, what I have done. 
we got there one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I'm trying to pick the best to uh, put on. That's six. Be a shame. I'll, I'll call it seven. Okay, dokie. Not too compact, and the only dibber that I've got on me. I will plong that in there. And that's one done. I'll bring you back when I've got uh, the others done. Okay. So here we have the uh, seven saladin lettuce that I've uh, repotted. They will now go into a water bath in the greenhouse to uh, let the water, so water soak up from the bottom which is a better way of uh, watering than across the top. OK, I'll catch you later. And there they are now, having a nice soak. They'll be in there for about half an hour, I don't think. Okie dokie, I've now got some carrots to soak. So, we'll plod on. Okay, these are the carrots I'm going to put in that tub, Chantenay Red Code 2. So we'll march on. This compost has nothing in it, it's uh, purely compost. No feed in it whatsoever. This is the template that I shall be using. This fits in this pot nicely. And what I use is a sharp A to create some little divots that I can put the seeds in. I get 19 with this template which is about three weeks worth of uh, carrots for soldering and myself that's it all done I try to put two stroke three seeds in each hole. Try to uh, guarantee some sort of growth.
I know that I've got uh, up to four or five in some of the positions, but plenty of seed. There we go. All done. All done. So. My way of uh, doing this is a little bit in each hole and pat it down. I'm sure you don't want to uh, watch me doing all this, so I'll bring you back when I've got it all done. Okay? Okay, now it's sown. A good watering across the top, and then I will stick it in a bucket of water to water from the bottom because it feels light. <coughs> Give the seeds a good soak, give them a good start. There we go. Now it can be stood in a bucket of water to uh, water the compass from the bottom. Okay, that will do for today. We'll catch you later. <laughs>